Meanwhile, a friend and former manager of O.J. Simpson, remember O.J., <laughs> says the juice isn't too happy with actor Cuba Gooding Jr.'s portrayal of him in the new FX miniseries, The People vs. O.J. Simpson. The miniseries takes viewers back to O.J.'s criminal trial for the slayings of his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and also her friend, Ron Goldman. Norman Pardo told Good Morning America that Gooding failed to capture Simpson's, Simpson's charisma and mannerisms. Take a listen here. They never consulted, I don't think, anybody from O.J.'s side to explain that that's not O.J. It doesn't even sound like him. I don't even know what's up with it eh, stuff. I mean, that, that, that part made me laugh. I, I don't get it. But, you know, he did the best he could, I guess. It's just O.J. Simpson has a charisma about him. He, he's a good-looking guy. He's a ladies' man. Pardo said that even though O.J. isn't happy with the miniseries, he'll still likely watch it from behind bars. Simpson is now 68 years old. He's serving a prison sentence for a 2007 robbery and kidnapping conviction in Las Vegas. I watched the first episode because O.J. was such a big oh, yeah. moment in American history mm -hmm. uh, in terms of just television news. And um, Cuba Gooding Jr. doesn't look, sound, act anything like O.J. Simpson. Mm -hmm. uh, Courtney B. Vance, who plays Johnny Cochran, nails it. I mean, mm -hmm. nails Johnny Cochran's movement. Um, the guy who's playing Christopher Darden, who was uh, the co-counsel with mm -hmm. uh, Marsha Clark there, he gets it. The actress playing Marsha Clark is pretty good. But I don't know what they were thinking. He's not even attempting to to look like as if he is playing O.J. The guy who plays Lance Ito, too, um, is pretty is pretty good. Well, it's all perception, though, right? I mean, somebody else might have a different yeah, opinion. Yeah, that's true. That's I true. haven't seen it, so you, I, I, can't, yeah. I can't say. Well, the show does a good thing. It actually um, tries to show this case, and it's based off of Jeffrey Tubin's book, uh, The Run of His Life, but it tries to show um, a very objective view of mm. a case that had a lot of people taking sides. Oh, yeah. yeah if you a lot of different opinions. That's right, for sure.